Time for another mustache wax review, and this time we are taking a look at the Mountaineer brand mustache wax. Right off the bat, it's got a two ounce container. That means, compared to your standard mustache wax containers, you're starting off right at twice as much, which is definitely a plus. Comes in two different fragrances. This one happens to be the natural. And quite literally, it smells like they just ground up a pine tree and put it in a container. It smells really good. I really like it. But it is rather strong when you first put it on, but it's not strong enough where you will be smelling it throughout the day. Their second fragrance is Citrus and Spice. I'm not quite sure what that would even smell like. I'm guessing kind of orangey-ish, but I don't know. If you guys have tried it, let me know down in the comment section what it smells like. Like 99% of the waxes that I try, it is 100% made in America. Now unfortunately the stickers have not fared very well through being in my pocket, but I'm going to read to you guys what the ingredients are just from what I can see and from my notes. So it's got beeswax, almond oil, coconut oil, fur needle oil, which is probably what gives it that really strong pine smell and cedarwood oil. So pretty much it's a bunch of oils mixed in with beeswax to make it a little bit more pliable. Just like most waxes it says to take your thumb and scrape a little bit off. It's really soft. Rub between fingers and apply. and hold it vertically, straight up. Take a large section of hair. At least the size of a giant hole and hold it vertically. As you guys saw, I put quite a bit of wax in my mustache, and that's because these little hairs here and these ones down here that aren't quite fully grown yet from when I was trimming my mustache tend to not want to be controlled with this wax. And that can definitely be a bad thing because throughout the day I keep feeling them down here on my lips and it gets kind of annoying. If you're like me and you don't mind the more natural look, this definitely does that job. If you don't mind a few little straggly hairs here and there, it's a really decent wax. I'd have to say that this wax is pretty good, especially if you don't mind those few hairs that don't want to be exactly right where you want them to be. Just be warned that you will probably end up having to put it in a couple times a day if it's hot and muggy out, just because it does tend to not want to hold perfect all day long. Hopefully you guys all like this review. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Down in the comments section, why don't you guys leave me a comment and let me know what mustache wax you guys think that I should try next. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I've got a whole bunch more mustache wax reviews that I've done in the past and that I've got coming up. So go over and check them out over at my main channel along with all my other videos. And until next time, you guys all have a good one. As you guys saw, I put quite a bit of mustache in... Mustache in my wax. What?